the most highly requested video that I got for the new Shane Dawson conspiracy theory video was about the theory surrounding cartoons and depression. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And speaking of subscribing and ringing the notification bell, you guys, I am freaking out. I've been freaking out because I love you guys so much. We are at 92,000 subscribers. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. And like, it's crazy. I just got one of those Facebook things from like a year ago. And a year ago in January, I was like so ecstatic that I got a thousand subscribers. And I'm not gonna get all sappy right now. I'm gonna save it for the 100K video, but like, I never thought in a million years that this channel was gonna do anything. I was like, people don't care about their mental health. Like, that's why I started this channel. Cause I'm like, people don't care about their mental health. I wanna teach them, you know, about their mental health, you know? But like, man, I love that people care about this stuff and that you guys are on this journey with me and you guys are taking care of your mental health as well and we're doing this thing together. So I just wanted to start out by saying I love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so, so much, all right? But yeah, anyways, let's talk about this specific conspiracy theory that Shane Dawson was talking about. Um, so basically, for those of you who didn't watch uh, Shane Dawson's video, which I doubt happened if you're here at my video, uh, one of the conspiracy theories was around violence and suicidal tendencies in cartoons and how it influences us. And it went on and on and on. So not only was he showing things from like SpongeBob and older cartoons and all that, but, you know, then he kind of went into some different things about big pharma and antidepressants and all that. So, like, I was sitting there, I was like, no, no, this ain't right. I'm like, you know, I'm going to use some psychology to debunk this thing. So I started doing some research and it's actually kind of scary. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to this dude and his name is Albert Bandura. Okay. So this guy is a social psychologist and he is most famously known for social cognitive theory. All right. More specifically, he's famous for the Bobo doll experiment. So what is this experiment? So what they did was they had two groups of kids. All right. And they had these kids watch uh, a woman play with this thing called a Bobo doll. What the heck is a Bobo doll? It's basically like one of those old school clowns, like that's like inflatable and has sand at the bottom and you like hit it and it goes womp, 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 right? So with one of the groups of kids, the kids watched this woman play with the Bobo doll and she was like nice with it and playing with it and all that. But with the other group of kids, like they had this lady straight up attacking this Bobo doll, right? Hitting it, like pinning it on the ground and like punching it in the face and like throwing it up and kicking it and doing all this stuff. And then what they did was they put these kids in a room with the Bobo doll, all right? And they wanted to see how the kids interacted with the Bobo doll. So with that first group of kids, like they were pretty chill. They were cool with the Bobo doll, they played with it, you know, it was all nice and friendly or whatever. But the kids who watched the woman attacking the Bobo doll, they went in there and they were jacking this doll up. And not only that, but it got a little crazier because inside this room, they put like, toy weapons, all right? So some of the kids, like they would start out like just like hitting the bobo doll and kicking it and throwing it and you know, getting kind of violent with it. But like kids naturally went towards like weapons. Like there was other like toys in the room, but they went towards weapons, like guns and knives. Like they wanted to mess this bobo doll up, all right? So social cognitive theory is basically talking about a learning theory, okay? So kids who witnessed this type of behavior, they were more likely, almost 100% likely, to go and, and recreate that type of violent behavior. That's some scary stuff. So this was more about just like what kids are seeing, what kids are learning. So by the way, parents out there, quit being, you know, crazy and abusive in your household because your kids are learning from that. But I wanted to see, I'm like, okay, well, there's no way that, you know, cartoons are influencing kids. But I actually pulled up this study that was referenced in a Psychology Today article, and it's actually true. 
they've done these studies with children watching violent cartoons and the kids who watched cartoons that had violence they were more likely to do bullying violence and all that kind of stuff and i'm like that's pretty crazy that's kind of messed up all right now, what's really fascinating about this is I grew up with video games and I really hate the narrative that like video games are making people violent and uh, you know, all this other stuff. But what's interesting is there's a lot of studies that have disproven the argument that video games make kids violent. So I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe it's because you're taking on the role of that character. But anyways, like let me know what you think down in the comments below and maybe we'll do another video on that. But why do you think that kids watching cartoons, they're more likely to be violent than kids who are playing video games that have violence in those video games? You know what I mean? Like, I find that pretty interesting. So what does this all mean? What does this all mean based on Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory, all right? Are these cartoons the reason why you're depressed? No. Are these cartoons the reason why people have suicidal ideation? No, they are not. Are these cartoons some part of some massive conspiracy behind Big Pharma to push antidepressant medications? No, but Big Pharma is trying to push antidepressant medications. I've done videos about that, um, but there is, you know, a lot that we should learn from this conspiracy theory and the psychology behind it and social cognitive theory. One of the biggest things that I was thinking about while watching this was that we as YouTubers, like, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to the youth of the world, all right? So, a lot of people don't like the word influencer, but we are, we are influencers. So, this is a message to all of you YouTubers out there. We need to be mindful of what we are putting out online based on social cognitive theory. Children are watching us. Children are mimic our, mimicking our behavior. Children see what we're doing and children are linking that together with success or what's being cool. So we need to watch what we're doing. You guys, this is one of the main reasons why I point out bad behavior or toxic behavior in my videos of other YouTubers because I'm trying to reverse some of those effects. I'm trying to take these examples and saying, yo, like this might be entertaining to you, but you need to make sure that you're not modeling this behavior because it is not healthy behavior, right? But even more so than the YouTubers, we need to take responsibility as parents. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, this is why we as parents need to make sure our mental health is in order, okay? Because like studies have shown, like children who grow up in abusive households, they're most likely to get into abusive relationships when they are older. Children who grow up in uh, households where there is substance abuse with alcohol or drugs, they are more likely to abuse substances when they are older, okay? Children are watching us, they see what we're doing. So if you are a couple and you think fighting is normal, that's one of the biggest questions I get about relationships is how much fighting is normal? Is this fighting normal? And all this other stuff. Like, think about it. Like, if you're a parent, ask yourself this question. Do you think it would be normal for your child to fight that much? And that might not even be a good question because if you were raised in a household where there was a lot of fighting and arguing and, you know, that you might think it's normal. But no, it's not normal, okay? Arguments, you know, debates, all that stuff, that is normal. But if you're in a household where this is happening on a regular basis and blowing up and freaking out on one another, that is not normal and that is not a good example for your children because they are more likely to get in bad relationships. But aside from that, I, as a parent, I know that I'm not gonna get the YouTubers of the world to change what they're doing. They know what gets clicks, they know what gets views, whatever. They're gonna do their thing. So what I do as a parent is that I take responsibility. I take responsibility and monitor what my child is watching. And I think the best way to counteract this because we're never going to fully be able to 100% monitor what our children are watching, um, but we can like have a good idea, okay? And we can talk to them about these things. Like I've mentioned this in other videos before, no matter what my child is watching, we watch it together. The best thing that you could do is pause it or after the video, sit down and have a conversation with them. Ask them what they thought. What are they thinking about this? Like if, you're, if your child is idolizing some of the bad YouTubers that they're watching, um, and when I say bad YouTubers, one's showing 
bad behaviors, if they are idolizing these people, it's time to have a conversation and explain like, is this the person that you wanna be? This is what can happen. This can get you in trouble in school. This can you know, hinder you getting a career later and all those other things. So we as parents need to take more responsibility as well, all right? But anyways, anyways, if you want more um, videos about like the source of depression that isn't cartoons and stuff like that, I have like about 800 videos on my channel. Go check them out, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get exclusive perks, join uh, our monthly group call and get some extra cool stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.